Mark, a year ago tonight, basically this whole area was just piles of debris. You might have been able to make out more medical centers standing just behind me, what was left of it. But tonight, you can see the temporary facility that they've been using for the last few months. And you can also see this site where just this morning, they broke ground on the new hospital, which will be completed in 2016. There are signs of progress all over this town, including Briarwood Elementary, which is just about a mile away from here. So I started at 20 stories up. Now I think I'm about 18 stories up. And here's what we've got going on. I've got cords wrapped around me everywhere. I have one little handle, and that's basically in charge of my release. So as soon as I pull it toward me, it goes. And all I have to do is keep walking down the building, lowering myself a couple steps at a time, and hoping I get down safe. That suspect is now behind bars, charged in the car wreck that killed an eight-year-old girl last October. Our cameras were rolling as she was transferred into Tulsa police custody, and she's speaking out just before getting booked into the Tulsa County Jail. Do you want to talk about what happened from your side of the story to let us know? Jennifer Shriver is charged with second-degree murder. I don't know I've never been in a situation like this. Authorities say she was speeding near 4th and Yale last October when she slammed into a car carrying three children, killing 8-year-old Alejandra Ruiz. Would you like to say anything to the family? I'm sorry. I did not do it on purpose. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Tulsa State Fair. I'm doing my very best to try and make a funnel cake. Here we go. Try not to burn my fingers off. All right, this booth here has been making funnel cakes at the Tulsa State Fair for 32 years, and people are going to be lined up like crazy. Now, we're going to fast forward this through the magic of television, and in just a second, we will have this already. Oh, look at that, Gary, thank you. I have funnel cake all over the place. Okay, this is what it should look like with 32 years of experience. Again, let's compare. First try over here, 32 years experience, very different. So um, people have been coming into the fair for just over an hour right now. Everyone's super excited, including- I've been waiting for my funnel <laughs> cake for 30 minutes. Oh, here it is. It takes me a little bit. It takes me a little bit. They have peanut butter frosting too, if you like some. The second is what we experienced today, what happened last night, and that is someone already having suicidal thoughts, deciding for some reason that they want the police officer to pull the trigger for them. We talked to Tulsa police about suicide today, and they say it is a very serious issue in our community. So far this year, they have already covered 83 suicides. Now speaking to you directly, if you have ever had any suicidal thoughts or negative thoughts in that matter that might lead to suicide, no, you're not alone. There are people standing by right now ready to help you. As the head coaching search begins. I can tell you how many times you've heard today. He's such a great guy. Yep. He's so nice. Yeah, even not only from people to you from Bob Stoops uh, down at OU. Yeah. We heard that at six o'clock. He is a great guy and, and I know he'll land on his feet and I wish him all the best. All right. Thank you, John. Sure. The wife of former Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice is speaking out for the first time since video surfaced showing him knocking her out. Okay, we've got a group of sophomores, even some really tall seventh graders. We're going to take a walk with them. Okay, girls, you all just won like homecoming for the sophomore class. How did that happen? Well, I don't really know. Last year, we kind of sucked. Yeah, okay. But this year, <laughs> this year, we nominated, yeah, we nominated them in the posters and our wagon and we won that and then we won overall well congratulations and, so, and we even beat the seniors hey sorry Woo! seniors yeah. unsung heroes the football trainers girls what kind of nasty things do you have to do for these guys oh, we scrub jerseys all the stuff that they get on it throughout the game the yeah. girdles i mean scrubbing <laughs> yeah. all kinds of nasty stuff you mean all girls like what they wear like, like it's like um, it's the pants. yeah just Bloody bring nose. it in bring it in <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for you. And now, take us to what used to be your home. This was the driveway, obviously. On the empty lot where his home of 18 years once stood, perspective on his relatively positive experience that many families weren't fortunate enough to have. To me, the biggest thing was there were people that didn't, they didn't get the chance we're standing just about a mile from where the children were killed in Plaza Towers Elementary. And we're just behind us. A baby died in what was once a gas station. Excuse me. They didn't get the chance to tuck their kids in. 
whenever you beat her, I mean, a lot of people were shocked. You too, in interviews, seemed shocked that I, you took I her did out. Not I did not expect that I would avoid a runoff. So yeah. um, it was, that was um, unexpected. Uh, the people have spoken and we're ready to hit the ground running. And was she supportive of you in helping you in this transition? Uh, very generous. We are set up just at 6th and Boston at the start of the parade. It heads north to 3rd Street, heads west over to Boulder, and then heads south. Moments ago, I was talking with the Tulsa police officers who so graciously joined us tonight to make sure that everything stays under control. And they were telling me that basically, I mean, looking around here, the crowd is massive. I mean, it's shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> What's your story? You know how I got to your desk? No. Sidewalk. Did you really? I yes. didn't even see There is it. a sidewalk right here. Sidewalks are important. Because? Because uh, people with issues walking, wheelchairs, mothers with strollers, we need, we need sidewalks. Yeah. Uh, Side note, I just noticed something with a tooth and like a leather satchel oh, no, on no, your desk. Oh, no, no, this is so cool. Quick show and tell. Handmade yeah. um, silverware. Yeah. Oh. Handmade from deer antler for, and um, a little patch. So I use it every night. For babies who live in the wild. No, it's for me. <laughs> I use it every night. Like a little bitty knife. Okay. Oh, sorry, that was a little close. All right, back to sidewalks. Um, okay. Did you know, this is a little we'll preview in our story, that there is now a city policy. <laughs> I'm not making this up, that if a road is being worked on and there isn't a sidewalk next to it, yeah. they will build a sidewalk there. As they should. Yeah. That's, that's a great. That's a good idea. So what's your story on tonight? I wish I had that idea. <laughs> it's, a, it's on the importance of sidewalks in, in this new, you know. On, and not on, just like the controversial Riverside sidewalk that we keep debating. It's like all sidewalks? Oh yeah, this is getting long. That's our promo. We'll okay. see you soon. <laughs> Met up with the two children at Berry Hill Elementary and learned how they're handling the challenges of the new school year while their father is deployed. And then a surprise, thousands of miles in the making. Here we're doing the right things. We're keeping our head up. Being a part of a three. team <laughs> can be hard when all the players aren't together. Number four. Coleman and sister Ashley. This is my last name, it says Burrow. Are balancing a lot. <laughs> Beat the start. Okay. Ashley. One, two. Is trying to learn three, the routine four. for this weekend's game. I've kind of got stage fright. Hey, beat those tigers. It's her first year cheering. Blue and gold. Coleman. Ah. Play second grade football. Oh, good job. Try one more time. After an hour and a half of practice, he still can't stop playing. But amidst the fun, it's obvious both are missing someone terribly. My dad. Because he's been gone for a year. Specialist Art Burrow. He's a mechanic. Serving in the Army four years. Stationed in Afghanistan nine months. That's his longest deployment yet. I miss him while he was gone. Yeah. I don't like it. It's tough. Because I can't give him big squeezy hugs all night. <laughs> A and then A in April's, okay? At Berry Hill Elementary. What are we supposed to do? On the way to PE, located in the building across the street, Ashley notices a car that's not supposed to be there. My aunt, Becca, she's here. It's weird. Ashley's and Coleman's classes prepare for dodgeball. That is, until a special guest arrives that they've been waiting for for nine months. <sighs> Specialist Burrow is home from his final deployment. You know what? I love you. I love you too, Daddy. It's good to be home. It is real good. Their team is officially back together, and Coleman is just getting started with properly welcoming his dad home. Guess what? You're going to hear my armpits are sweaty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Armpit sounds. We've all done it. Well, oh, yeah. most of us anyway. Specialist Burrow used technology like Skype to keep in touch with his kids while he served in Afghanistan. Tonight, the family continued their celebrations with a gathering at church.